Hey all, so I've been doing a couple junkin' runs, been picking up stuff off of Facebook Marketplace for the van. It hasn't been worth making individual videos, so I figured I would just do one quick, like, hey, here's more stuff that I've got. So let's check out my recent van parts hauls. And here we are. Let's run through everything. So these, we're going to start with these. These are a set of rear pop-outs for the back doors, which I've been really wanting. I managed to pick these up for all of $10 off of Facebook Marketplace because the guy who was selling them found them in his dad's garage and had no idea what they fit, so he just listed the measurements. I went and measured, and they're the right ones for the van, so awesome. Score there. Those I picked up at the junkyard. Those are the pop-outs for the side doors. You notice the distinct difference in the blue tint, blue-green tint on them. That's because they're very different years. I think these are 70s era, and those are 80s era. But it doesn't matter because they're not going to be next to each other and I'm going to be tinting them all black with black tint anyway. So that shouldn't be an issue at all. Um, these came with no brackets. Those, I'm actually going back to the junkyard as soon as we I finish this video with the correct tools because it turns out the brackets for those are held on with uh, Torx screws. So I didn't have the right hardware for them. I'm going to snag those. I'm actually going to snag ones for these two. The van that those came off of has... this is I managed to get one off because it was... It has stainless brackets, but it doesn't have rear windows. There's another van there that's a later one that has black surround pop-outs, several of which are broken. But it has the top brackets in black. I think I'm just going to snag all four black ones. I'll probably sm snag the other um, stainless one just so that I have a separate set. But I think I'm going to install them with the black ones just for consistency across the van. So all four of my windows have a black bracket. Is that something I can always swap out later if I do get the right ones? But this is awesome. I wanted pop-outs so badly. The fact that I managed to snag them all pretty cheap is amazing. The gaskets were all bad on the vans at the junkyard, but that's fine because somebody pointed me to a source for good gasket, like a, a generic gasket that will work perfectly for them so I can put brand new gaskets in so they'll seal really nice. That is awesome. Amazing. I'm so glad about that find. So, next amazing find. I'm just going to go kind of randomly here. These are front door panels. Um, my van has power windows on it, but there was another door panel screwed over top of the steel one. So mine has little holes in it all around, and for some reason it has a hole right here in both of them. That just makes no sense. And then I picked up another set off of a 76 van, but it was a van with manual windows. So it didn't have these holes. I was going to have to cut them, and it had this cut open. So that wasn't perfect. These are exactly what I need. They are late enough that they've got the correct power window holes. In fact, those came with power switches, which are great because mine are the chrome's all flaking off on the driver's ones. They don't have any extra holes they don't need that I don't need or whatnot in a way that's a problem. They did have these for the straps over there, but, and I'm going to be drilling holes for armrests probably, but I'm like 99% sure the armrests will cover those holes. So this is a great find because this lets me have nice door panels. I may or may not end up covering them in vinyl, but either way, this is great. And then I got a dash cluster for an earlier van. This should go over my later cluster. My cluster has a big square opening, but all the stuff is in the same place. I'm like 90% sure. This isn't perfect because I actually wanted one that didn't have this fancy Beauville burled wood trim, but this will let me do fitting up and making sure that the earlier ones fit or what I'll need to trim. And this will hold me over until I find the just plain grained full one. Seat belts. This is so good. Red seat belts. These are actually... They're off an older van than mine, but they're in better shape than the belts on my. My belts are all frayed and gross. I think they've been caught in the door one too many times. So red belts with red hardware. This is so good because I don't have blue ones. Um, this saves me. These with bla in black, which is what it, the only way you can get them new, or black hardware with red belts, was going to be $180. Either each or for the pair. I can't remember. I think each. Um, so finding these and getting them at junkyard prices is great. 
The little holders for this belt side are both broken, but I think I can acquire that. And even if I have to buy this part new, that still saves me a bunch of money. Bunch of grab handles. I ended up with one red one, one blue one, and one black one. But these are going to be good for the side door and the back door, because there's currently no good handles there. I can either dye these or wrap them in vinyl to match the interior. Those are cool. Door handles, chrome button ones. I actually have already swapped two of these out. So this is what's on my van. They have black plastic buttons, which I really hate. The earlier ones have chrome buttons, so I can swap those out. They just bolt right on. And then a very minor thing, these are trim pieces that fit by the wheel well, basically by the driver's foot, which when I'm doing the carpet, those will be nice to be able to keep the carpet in place. So yeah, this is all amazing stuff to have acquired, especially because I have not spent very much on all of it. So those are my cool new finds. You'll be seeing those going on the van in the nearest future, of course. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.